Welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Now, the outbreak of COVID-19 in Ghana may have brought untold hardship, pain, discomfort to uh, a lot of people. But in the midst of the crisis, there's some good news to share. Road accidents have for long been a big problem for the country, and it appears to be easing thanks to the restrictions imposed by government on movement to halt the spread of the virus. The latest figures for the first quarter of 2020 show a significant improvement compared to the same period last year, and the National Road Safety Authority believes that the lockdown period and COVID-19 restrictions helped to achieve that success. Here are the figures. We'll put, we'll put those figures to you uh, uh, in a bit. So is the reduction in the, in, the, in the road safety. So what is really causing the reduction in these uh, uh, figures? We'll hear shortly from officials of the Road Safety Authority and a road safety advocate on the reasons and how we can consol consolidate the gains. First, though, experiences of some drivers. And Estina Barrow Richter has been speaking to them. When the lockdown came about, there was a drastic reduction of motor vehicles on our highways. And consequently, you are not likely to have such accidents come about. When not just uh, uh, coaches, but when a lot of uh, vehicles are on the highway and there's uh, congestion. When we have a single carriageway from Accra to Kumasi, a uh, single carriageway from Kumasi to Tamale, obviously when people are trying to overtake each other uh, with less due care, you are likely to have accidents come about. When there's, when there's a drastic reduction of such motor vehicles, you are not likely to have accidents. So it's not so much the coaches are not on the road, but it is so much other vehicles, other road users were also taken off the road. Since I could not buy any a person, I took a crash as a car, and then no so sir. Because on say, he cars need be free, especially her. They never far any part 50 something, you know, he free my bay. 31, 31 o'clock, and say, you are free my bay 30. And the Nama Quanso, in fact, in fact, Nama Quanso, I do. They see the Bibi or Asdent or Quanso, you know. Bibi. A double for Kahu, baby, so a quana Kahu or Kano who's a Kanya mono. But my Fakwana so tit to be a poker as a coin. One of the quarter so portos are was so so. Obobo more bad two years, one year, board judging him and never I am re. Spirit from Dorsum. They do not me, my dream is a compassion, a gun of penny for Omotemia. Oh my, oh my, a quania can see it. Near that double singing road, no, near your carriage. You are called to Hatria. If it's a bad and crabby bar, a baker crabby, now they are not gonna do any other way. Near Sabons and one could be a lot of free Burkina or Sunyama. There's a lot of person if I say a call, but not an adua forty eight hours, fifty two hours, no num, a bit on my emre, any haba since a dear call, and was a VIP number five, a bishop to crew to bear twenty. Now make us a member of four hours, five hours, my duke must. Tread an open of free Burkina. Lampadu over Wabre. What I say? Mistake Weber. On mistake, make my mistake, almost made a mistake, not happy. Across the board, I need a boy. I'm a carcass and intentions, your Montema, your home in Iowa, a corner so. So we will do to poker traffic right here. Tread at twenty and just a person. Unya can no bread, there one of our crown watch him. And tell no dear, you're pending for us and no more boy, dear, no more say. I'm not to cast in this home and tell them a person. Cabosses are catered upon. Corona by. A boy, boy, baby, my name, and you pee. And the joy of Gumon, dear, first, no, be a me and tell me, yes, you drop a person in the drop watch Because the buses are not many, and even the traders are not many on the way, on the road. At times, the tra traders are causing the accident more, and now there are not many on the road, so the road is free. This time, an accident in India in New York, but maybe I don't have any of my name cars here. This time, a car in New York, and here one. And a two, a banner so born home, what they were going to say, baby, and a capot was who are your daughter, a cop criminal. Nina and so a mugusa or more ye. Says, I know you need me and you've been caught, Nipanema. Passengers in our so be as reserved about a foca. And Tina May, no passengers in the area. But my Gina Hanma, the whole day, can I give it to an opera bear, Vasa Rabia, twelve, no, it's a two and numeral four. Passengers in the idea, I had a doubt. Se se no se de be a road accident in be low down no se se no corona time no a low down ana within corona no so no omo ya akwan no be bia na nye no e ti amaka bi o no mananka okọ no ni boat bi nanka betim de na koduru be bia okọ ba o bo amana mu nti no e ma bia onu be bia na boat na tu 
Beryl spoke to those drivers there, and I have here in studio a representative from the road, uh, uh, from the National Road Safety Authority. Henry Asimene is in charge of program programming. I, I believe I've got that right. So welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we, we, we were built earlier to speak to Dr. Uh, Bayo of the Ghana um, Medical Association on the best way to wear a mask we missed him it looks like we have him right now since we're both wearing masks it will be good to chip that in have a quick conversation on that one and then we can get on to talk about the statistics all right unfortunately i've lost him once again so Mr. many it's good to have you thank you very much for your time it looks like this is the first time we're having this conversation i mean we're meeting this year am i yes it does it looks like okay and we're meeting on a good note i'm happy to have something different to talk about <laughs> because we're always talking about the same thing people dying but the good news is that our statistics show there is a reduction in road carnage. Yes, that is true. Mm. The uh, statistics shows that the number of people who have died in, uh, on the road between January and April, as compared to last year, has reduced by about 23%, mm. or 20, 20, almost 24%. Okay. Then if you look at all the parameters that we use in looking at the, uh, when we say road safety figures, mm -hmm. You realize that apart from the um, incidents with motorbikes and injuries, mm. all the other parameters we recorded reductions. Okay. But for the incidents with um, motorcycles, we had an increase of almost 15%. And this brings us back to our always the conversation on how to tackle this uh, motorcycle uh, menace. Mm. Then with the injuries, we had about a 0.6% increase. But we, okay. apart from these two parameters, for all the other parameters that we have, we, we had reductions in all uh, these. How do we link this, for sure, to COVID-19? Is there any linkage, I mean, scientifically proven, I must say? Okay, so, um, not yet scientifically proven, but um, logically you realize that because of the lockdown, the vehicles on our roads were low. Now, um, for a period of about two weeks, no vehicle, about three, I think it was three weeks, right? Yeah, it was about three weeks. About three weeks, no vehicle was traveling from Accra uh, to the outskirts, and then also from Kumasi. And these two areas are where we have a lot of these um, our transport hubs, where they travel to and fro. Mm -hmm. So if you lock those two cities down, you realize that now the transport on our major roads will be reduced. I see. And I think this uh, contributed to this um, reduction because now the number of vehicles on the road had gone down. Then also there were a lot of restrictions within the city itself. So and the number of vehicles that were plying on our roads went down. It means that conflicts between two vehicles or conflict between uh, various road users went down. And this can, mm. be, can contribute to this. But then if you also look at the statistics, you realize that since January, January there was no lockdown, but there was a reduction. In February, in to, yes, in February too, there was a reduction. So but although wasn't you can, it in January that we recorded all those, you know, massive numbers uh, uh, of people dying in accidents on on the roads? Yes. Let's say uh, let's um, look at uh, if you look at the pedestrian lockdowns, you realize that the in January it came down, then also in February it came down. So although the, the, the lockdown effect mm -hmm. has been very positive, we have also have some little positives okay. before that time. So how, Let's, uh, okay, do we, have, do we have the reasons why we got the positives earlier, before the lockdown? As I said, we haven't done the scientific analysis okay. yet. Okay. But then I just wanted to bring it out that there were some, okay. like in February like that, we. Um, the people, number of people who died was 171 as against 210 okay. for the previous year. For the previous year, yes. okay. So some good things uh, happening there, but people are worried that usually when we see these figures, when the figures go low, people get complacent. In fact, they'll say the authorities, including yourself, get complacent. Mm -hmm. How is the Road Safety Authority leveraging these new figures to say, well, let's take advantage of the situation. Is there even a possibility to take advantage of it, or do we just leave it to chance? No, we are not leaving it to chance. We were all here when we used to crave that the road safety then commission 
they don't have the mandate to do a lot of things mm -hmm. and uh, people were saying maybe that was the cause of everything. Then now our mandate was changed and this mandate that was changed, that was in 2019, mid 2019, the act was passed. Mm -hmm. Now we are putting up the regulation, the regulation should, um, we are hopeful that the regulation will be passed by parliament by close of the year. Okay. Yes. And when the regulations are passed, then now we would have the modalities, the procedures, now how to manage road safety really in Ghana using this uh, compliance thing that we used to talk about. Mm. So, and then also apart from that, you realize that the government too is not being complacent because they announced the, in the last budget, they announced that this year is a year of roads because yeah. they realized that some of the roads were in bad shape. Yes. Within, still within this COVID era, these routes are being done, so it's, it, it, does, it, it, looks like, it doesn't look like now because of COVID they are stalled, okay. it's going on. So I, I can say that no, we are not being complacent and I don't think the road safety actors or stakeholders are being complacent. We want to build on these gains. How exactly? Um, just like I'm giving you, the, the, the roads are being fixed. Yes. The authority itself is also coming up with its regulations very soon. Okay. And then also, if you look, the, the MTTD are uh, heightening their enforcement. They are going, they want to eliminate this human to human where now, when you are going, you meet a policeman and the policeman will talk to you. Now you won't meet a policeman, it will be technology. Hmm. So if you are speeding, you are picked. If you, whatever happens to you, you are picked. and you don't get anybody to even talk to you just be summoned i mean that's what is done elsewhere but i don't think uh, we've uh, ever tried it in ghana we've been talking about it for several years yes you <laughs> see sometimes these are things that um, you can't start and stop that's the first thing and because of its nature too when when you start and you have issues and you stop it's difficult to bring it back so mm. What the uh, police want is that they want to put everything in its place before it starts. And I'm, I'm, I know that they, they are at an advanced stage and very soon we are going to see the first um, traffic enforcement, technol technologically traffic enforcement on the road. And very soon we are going to issue the first ticket. And at that time we'll see that um, enforcement is heightened. How soon is soon? As I said, it is very soon. I'm sure um, I can't give a timeline now, but it's very soon. It's not something that will go uh, is this in the next that's... three months. I don't think it will go beyond the next three months. Is, is this something that's genuinely in the works at the authority? Pardon? Is this something that's in the works, something that's been worked on at the authority? And where are you if that's actually happening? It's actually, because I've been, had this conversation it's, it's actually been worked within the... Um, Ghana Police Service and then the Ministry of Interior. Okay. But as you know, the authority is also a stakeholder when it comes to that. So we are okay. also working with them. And as I said, I can say for sure that within the next three months, we are going to see something. Next three months, you say? Yeah. I hear you. Let, we're joined on Zoom by uh, Reverend Crab, uh, Reverend Cyril Crab. He's a road safety advocate. Um, he's also been supporting persons who get involved in road, road accident. Uh, Reverend Cyril, thank you for your time. So we're seeing some reduction in the figures that we recorded um, the same period last year. What, how does that make you feel? Must be, m must be a good feeling. Okay, so we're muted. Let's fix that mute and then we'll come back and talk to Reverend Cyril. Uh, I'd like to take your, th I mean, uh, for you to tell us what else the Road Safety Authority is doing this 2020. Um, it's, it's an election year. And again, thankfully, people are not moving around as much as they would have in an election year because of coronavirus. But people are still moving around. Yeah. What different trends are you picking up in terms of behavior, driver behavior, in terms of how we behave on the road that you believe you could work on to reduce the carnage that we've recorded? Okay, what the authority to is working on now, we are working on a system where we want to be able to do surveillance okay. on our roads. It means that when somebody is on the road and the person is misbehaving, we are able to see and draw caution. So for the speed cameras? No, the speed cameras, that's for the police. 
we are going to do just surveillance. Okay. We are going to look at driver behavior. Apart from that, um, we are we also we are coming up with an app where everybody can download it on their phone. And if you're in a car and the driver is misbehaving, you could just enter whatever the driver is doing with the details in the app and we will with receive the driver's it. car details yes and okay. then we will receive it at our end so you can even tell us where you are now what what happened what he did where you are traveling to and we will just uh, send a notice to the next checkpoint so that hmm. they would apprehend him and then it depends on the offense caution him or do something about it so and then apart from that i also said that we are coming up with the regulations to yeah. put the act in force are you able to tell us some of the regulations that you have you can build over that whilst we engage a reverend cyril but i'm adopting more of the wait and see um <laughs> <laughs> wait and see uh, uh posture uh to see how what we do differently because it, it's it gets overwhelming to have this conversation over and over again the good thing though is that the numbers have reduced the number of people or the number of road crashes have reduced uh, comparing to what happened last year. Reverend Krapp, you were telling me how that makes you feel as a, a, an, an advocate and someone who supports people who suffer from road crashes. Yes, ma. Um, thank you once again, and thank you for the opportunity to join in, in the discussion. Uh, I must uh, confess that I am uh, very much excited about the uh, uh, plans that the uh, road safety have to give Ghanaians a, a much more safer road to uh, 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 arrive alive. Uh, I have a very, very good feeling. In fact, my feeling is, is uh, I'm so happy that um, in the month of uh, uh, April and month of May, mm. uh, we, we recorded very, very, very low crashes because the numbers were threatening, very, very threatening especially in february and then early march mm. when we had this uh, the 9th of march we had this gruesome as i call it barbaric uh, uh, road crash in in this country you know i had the opportunity to bury them uh, last week i officiated the mass barrier and the, the feeling was very bad i think then again i have to say that it is also good that covid 19 came and then it uh, rather reduced the whole thing i wish it will remain like this so that we will not record any more death. Mm. We will not record any more patches. There wouldn't be any more uh, uh, bloodshed and families yeah. losing their loved ones. But going forward, I want to once again uh, uh, say that the road safety are taking you know, serious measures like he's saying over there uh, uh, to, to promote safe practices of you know, road safety regulations. If, if we would do it like that after COVID-19, and the crashes are going to be reduced and the number will remain the same. I believe that myself and my team we would seriously have a better way to help those who are currently there. Because it becomes very alarming when anytime you want to help other people with your plan, another number comes to add up. Mm -hmm. So I believe that is good and I, I'm very, very happy. Just that I pray that our roads will be much more safer from this day forward. Yeah. Even as we are easing the lockdown, we are coming back. With the, with the kind of uh, uh, regulations they have to tighten you know, uh, uh, up what they already have before. For me, it's okay. It's okay. And I pray that we implement it, advocate them more, and people will also will enjoy you know, riding on our road very safe, arriving alive. Life is indeed important, but, well, we can't leave it to wishes and we can't leave it to our prayers. We only have to put in more work. So I can only assume that as you work uh, with the um, as you work with um, the Road Safety Authority, we'll be able to reach a certain level of consensus. But let me back, come back to you, uh, Mr. Asman. You were telling me about, um, I was ask, actually asking for you to take us through what we can find in the new regulations that you spoke about. Um, as of now, it's still in the draft and it's still being discussed by stakeholders. Okay. So I wouldn't want to go deep inside. When it comes to the sensitization time, we'll bring it out and then everybody would hear about it. No but problem. for now, the experts are still looking at it. Mm. But one major function that is in is that now um, uh, the commercial transport industry is going to be regulated. Okay, you indicated that. I mean, we're getting this one. Says, uh, earlier, I saw 
Uh, this is a message coming in. I saw accident has reduced by 72.8% this first quarter <laughs> as compared to 2009, but now I'm seeing 23.63. I want you to take us through the, the, the figures again, just so we don't get it wrong, uh, because um, you, you yourself were raising a, a few concerns there. So please. Okay. So let me just pick from January to April for last year and this year. If you look at the um, number of people who died, in 2020, it is 738. Mm. But in 2019, it's 849. Okay. And this represents about, sorry, it's about 13% reduction. 13% reduction? Yes, please. That's for which period again, sorry? January to... Um, so first quarter? No, Roughly first gen, quarter? Yes, right, by January to April. We picked January to April because that is what we call the COVID. For uh, the COVID coronavirus. Just, okay. Yeah. All right. And, and like you said, there's still a lot more that we need to get to know. Uh, but we use this platform to do a bit of advocacy. I'll take uh, the first one from, from you, Reverend Cyril. Advocacy. What should people take away from this conversation we've just had as far as road safety is concerned? Yeah, uh, thank you once again. Um, we, we road safety advocates, I believe that we are also taking advantage as we are being regulated by them. Uh, we say we add on to what they say. We add on to what they give us. We go out there to communicate what we receive from them. And so uh, after COVID-19, whatever measures they are coming out with, we're going to take it. But personally, I'm also, to, also going to take it, send it out there to continue to educate uh, uh, drivers I and mean, the, 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 the users, road users, yeah. to adhere to it so that we can have, as I said, much more safer road. Because that is what is our uh, responsibility uh, oh. in, 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 in sharing these things to our people. Reverend Cyril Krupp, thank you very much for joining us. He's a Reverend Minister. He's also an advocate for road safety. And he supports persons who um, uh, get maimed or if you like uh, part of road accident let me take the final word from you Ms. Asmeni what uh, I'd, I'd like for you to speak directly to drivers to look at what we've achieved so to speak and okay. make it better yeah before I go to the drivers I'd like to comment multimedia on the campaign arrive alive mm -hmm. we appreciate it very much and yes we have also come on board that campaign and we are going yeah. to do everything to make it successful so yeah. i would like to once again commend the management and everybody at multimedia for this um, campaign mm. then um for the drivers yes we have reduction but as we've all we said it's been related to restriction of movements let us try and maintain this so that they won't think that every uh, others won't think that it is just because of the restrictions that's why we at these figures. Mm, mm. We are entering into, actually we are in the rainy season, not that we are yeah. entering into the yeah, rainy we're in season. June now. Yes, let us all take precautions when it comes to this time, because in this time, especially when it is raining, visibility is very poor. Let us make sure that all our wipers are working, our lights are in good shape, our demisters are all working, so that we wouldn't be bled when we are driving on the road. Anytime you're on the road and then the rains are too heavy, please just find a safe place and pack. Let the rain subside before you go. These are measures that we should take into consideration whilst we are on the road, especially during these times. And let's reduce our speeds. Let's reduce our speed and um, make sure that when it's raining, you don't try to force your way through the rain, try and pack somewhere, he says. Although that has been up for debate, the people have said that sometimes when you pack, you don't know because they might get flooded. And you might get caught. Yeah, you know, I said find a safe place. Safe a safe place. place. A safe place means that it should be one a higher ground, okay. and it should be a straight place where you can uh, park well. Okay. Sometimes you can even get under a shed or something if you can. Get else, wait till the uh, rain subside before you even move from the office. Well, all right. Thank you so much for coming through. I've been talking to Henry Asimeni, he's with the National Road Safety Authority, in charge of programming, right? I am the senior manager for planning and programs. Okay, for programs. Planning and programs, yeah. for, for planning and programs, yes, I do remember the programs there. And we were joined by Reverend Cyril Krupp. He is a road safety advocate and he supports people who um, get involved in road crashes. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Sir.